A lot of people ask me uh, how I got started in art. When I was nine years old, I, was, I stayed with my grandmother, and I got the 1949 uh, Life magazine, and I saw a picture of Jackson Pollock in there and his work. Uh, his work literally captured my soul. Uh, couldn't imagine doing anything else other than art. And I remember going to my grandmother and saying, Grandma, when I grow up, I want to be an artist. And her telling me, because I grew up in a, I grew up in a, in a rural farming area, and uh, art was looked up looked upon as a frivolous thing. So uh, I was not in any way persuaded or in any way given encouragement to pursue art. So I never did any art. Uh, I was always told, well, you want to be in business, you want to do this, da 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 da, whatever. Nothing to do with art. So I grew up appreciating the old masters. I loved the old masters, the old dust masters. And I absolutely loved Jackson Pollock's uh, abstract work. I didn't start doing art till I was 60. Actually, uh, it was I was 59, getting ready to turn 60. And my wife and I had gone down to Tulum, and I had visited the ancient Mayan ruins uh, down in the Yucatan Peninsula. And I can remember how much I felt as though they were somehow part of my history. I don't know how uh, I had what I would call an epiphany moment, where I felt that my hands were ones with the carvings. And so I came back, and a couple years had passed by. And then in 1959, uh, I decided to do a piece of artwork. And so I found an old Mayan, some, found a magazine that had some Mayan pieces in it, and I took some of those motifs, and I put them together in my own design, and, uh, and I carved them out of cardboard. Well, my wife had said to me, Ty, that's really good. You ought to put that in an art show. And I kind of laughed at her and said, anybody can do this. I said, this is nothing, I said, believe me, this is not anything good. I said, anybody can do this. This is really easy to do. And so she said to me, no, I want you to look around. I want you to put that in an art show. And I said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to do that. I said, it's not that good. It's nothing. I said, it's, it's absolutely nothing. So she saw in the newspaper where the artist guild here in St. Louis was putting on an art show. And she literally hounded me to go and put my piece in the art show, and it was $25. So I said, okay. So I took my art, my only piece of art I ever made in my life. I didn't, I, was, I wasn't an artist. I never had any schooling or any formal training in art in any way. I didn't take art in high school. I didn't take it, you know, I didn't take any art. Uh, so I went to the art school, and I went in, and they filled out a Form and I gave him my art piece of art and and uh, $25. But three days later, I got called. This lady called me. She says, uh, she says, Ty, we have your uh, your your piece has been accepted for the show. You're going to be in the art show. And I said, Yeah, I know. I paid my $25. And I was thinking that she didn't think I paid my money. She wanted to pay another $25 to be in the art show. And she said, no, no, no. She says, you're going to be in, your, your work is going to be in the art show. And I said, yes, I know. I paid my $25. She said, sir, the $25 was for the jury. Well, I had nothing to do with the art world. I knew nothing about art. I didn't know what a jury was. I didn't know what she was talking about. I said, what do you mean a jury? She said, you pay the $25 to, put your, to have your piece looked at to see whether or not it can make the show. And she says there were 800 entries and they only picked 60 pieces for the show. And she says your work was chosen. And I says, 
hmm, I guess it's pretty good then. I said, because it was my first piece of work. And she says, sir, if that was your first piece of work, she said, it has to be good. This is the first piece of art I ever made in my life. This is what I put in the show. First thing I ever made. Outside of this, I never made any other art. And uh, so I, over the, it, I turned 60, and so I started doing art. And uh, I guess another 10 years went by, and uh, I was reading my interest in Jackson Pollock was renewed. And uh, in his life and his work, and I started doing abstract paintings. And today I'm 73 years old, and I do large canvases, large abstract paintings. And uh, I'm living my dream. I just uh, every day I'm going to my studio and I paint, or I work on my mind work, I work on my sculptures. I do both sculpture, sculpt, sculpturing and uh, painting. My paintings have become almost sculptures in themselves. It's uh, it's an action it's an action abstract art, but it's got such depth and um, movement and texture that it's almost like uh, sculptures. So I do sculptures and and uh, paintings, and that's that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs>